What's the answer to the question? Who are we? Why are we here? What happens when we die? Where do we go? Are ghosts real? Are there other worlds, physical, spiritual? These are just some of the questions we'll try to answer. And all we ask is you keep an open mind. Hi there guys, my name is Taff and uh, this is my good buddy John and we're going to be talking about uh, witching or dowsing or divining uh, using rods and we're going to go down to the beach and uh, look for some treasures, right? Right. And uh, this is going to be uh, your intro to like using subtle energy and uh, it's, it's a great way to get into using your body energies and stuff many ways of doing that but uh, for today we're going to do the old dowsing with, with uh, rods okay but i think the the important thing is it's exciting it's fun and it's teaching us to connect with our higher inner voice that is oftentimes drowned out by our ego voice and this is a wonderful training and if you can find yourself getting into a state of being here now present and just allowing it to happen. You can ask any question and the universe will answer. The universe knows the answer to every question. And you can even ask specific uh, spirit guides and people like that to direct you as well. But you innately have the ability to do this. There's no one who can't do this. The secret is to get out of the way. That is the hardest part. Here in the States they call it witching, and that's an old term that they used um, because back in the day, in the pagan days, the old days in Europe, Britain, the uh, people were um, hounded and hunted by the church because to them this was a satanic thing, shouldn't be doing witchcraft. It's nothing to do with witchcraft, and uh, actually, Einstein, I always come back to Einstein, he's my go-to guy um, he said that everything without exception is energy okay and when we talk about energy reference to what we do it's subtle energy that's in us around us through us it's in uh, it's in the air it, it's everything everything is energy and because of that we tune ourselves into the vibrations and the frequencies of, of different things uh, of each other and when we douse or, or which we are actually allowing this power to come down and uh, give us results that we're looking for. Like John said, we can look for anything. Um, and again, it's a skill, okay? The more we do it, the better you get at it. And that's the idea of us coming down to the beach and finding right. treasures. And it's, it's good to prepare yourself ahead of time a little bit, <clears throat> get yourself centered. Um, if, if you have things on your mind you might do some breathing exercises definitely hydrate yourself yeah. so that the energy can flow more effectively it's, it's, you know it might important. help to think of it as energy and information yeah because th the information is what's being carried by the energy right. so it's obviously a part of it right and that's what we're that's what we're asking right. to identify with is this what we're looking for in the hole Oh, that's not it. Is there still something in the hole? Is it still inside that hole that we're looking for? It'll be pretty awesome, John. We want to ask a positive question or, or a positive statement. My name is Taff. 
and it crosses, okay, to acknowledge that. So because it's crossed, I know that's a positive answer. If I say my name is Elvis Presley, look at that. You know, and I'm not moving it, it's going on its own, all right? Because the, the energy uh, traveling through us knows all, and that's a fact. The way you hold these things, um, just loosely in your hands, okay? Some people use little plastic cups on them, but you don't need to. Just put them like this. My name is Taff. Whoop! See that? And now if I need to find uh, where I'd like to start my search, you can start anywhere, but you can ask, point me in the right direction to find, this is my intention, jewelry or lost coins on this beach. And as I move around, it'll cross when I reach a point there. So that tells me I need to go this direction, okay? It's that simple. Next thing I would ask it is how far you can use uh, feet, paces, inches, whatever you want. So how far is it to that um, object I'm looking for? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 75, 80, cross right there, Yeah. 80 feet, wow. okay, in that wow. direction. And I think this is what we had earlier on, right? Yeah. That's trees. And uh, so we know it's that direction, 80 feet. When I get across the top of the location, what will happen is the rods will, will cross. Down more than That tells me X marks the spot. Put my little marker down, and then the next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ask how deep it is. And I would do that in inches, because it can be 10, 20, 30, 40, whatever. Or five, one inch, two, three, four, five, whatever you come to use it, and it will tell you the depth that it's at. And you go digging it, and when I first did it, the very, very first time here, I found a, I was blown away, because I found a, a silver and diamond earring. You don't actually have to say it out loud that we're just saying it out for demonstration. You can actually just think, think it, it. Yeah. and you can think your way through it. Uh, and I think it's a good idea to do that because sometimes it's harder to just think without using words than it is, you know, but if you're really connected, you should be able to do that, yeah. you know. And I'm sure you get better as, as you go, you know. Found my first staple. <laughs> But uh, have fun with it. Though. Yeah, have fun with it, and, and we'll be doing some more videos, and uh, we'll be using different techniques, not just dowsing, but you know other uh, other modalities as well that we are familiar with. We'll be showing you things over that kinesiology, kinesiology, and stuff like that. Anyway, thank you. Have fun, and catch you again. Is it still in the hole? Yeah, it's still in the hole. <laughs> Oh <laughs> I think it's one of those mysteries. That's yeah, I don't know what it is. But everybody <laughs> found something, you know, I mean, I found that big staple. You found a quarter, found a quarter, yeah. quarter, found that um, necklace. necklace. But it does, you know, it does work, right? So. It does work. Oh, yeah, well, it's Absolutely. lots of fun. We're coming back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a good day out on the beach. I'm going to put something down of monetary value, and I'll plant it. And, and we'll douse it, whoever finds it, keeps it. Everybody has a different perception of the world and, and you know, and what we believe and what we don't believe. But it's only when we connect with our higher self that we are able to make the right decisions because it has to be like in a holy instant, here now. You're not being influenced by the ego at all. And that's what we're doing here. But once you get in a habit of doing it, working that way you know, you, you're changing your life it's not a problem but uh, well done everybody I mean we all had a, we yeah, all found something you know it was fun, yeah. it was, it was fun. Yeah.